So most of all, um, um, Santibi is protecting, he doesn't want the armbar, so he just holds his hand. Just hold your wrist for this one, yeah. That's what most kids do, they hold their wrist. Okay. I want to break apart the fist. Can you, who, who remembers what the first thing that I want to do is? Yes, Sarah. You take your arm, which is mm -hmm. close to the legs. Yes. And put it underneath. Yes, good. Okay, that's step one. Okay. What's the next step? No, I'll give somebody else a chance. Who can remember the next step? I know they're amazed this one. Uh, Leah, do you remember the next step? Um, the one that can touch his hair. Wipe his hair, yeah. Can his hair. Goes under his, his, his other arm. Goes under the other arm. Very good. Now, what do I do with this hand? Anyone got an idea? I did remember. Yes. Put it on here. Good one. Okay. Uh, do you know what do we do next? Lean back, yeah, I can lean back. That could help, but there's a specific direction I do want to actually go. Um, we'll give Eli a chance, which... Uh, um, lean to, the to the head, yeah, but there's one thing I want to do before I lean towards the head. Anyone got no idea? Uh, who hasn't answered the question yet? Go on, then. Put your leg through his arm. Um, that is a one technique. You've been watching YouTube. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, this is much simpler that I squeeze my knees together. If I squeeze my knees together, that's actually really strong. You can't get done. Now we do the leaning towards the head. Who said that? Who was the one who said that? Eli, that's a good decision. So I lean towards the head, and I pull, and the arm comes up. Now, who remembers what comes next? It's an important thing, because I can't just let it stop there, can I? Gabby, again? I can do that, yes, I can do that. And I'm going to grab the... Anybody? Yes? Yeah, Ella? Grab the arm, but where on the arm? Wrist. Wrist, yes. I straighten up, and there's a final bit of how to finish this. Anybody? Anybody? It's the same people, it's like fast, isn't it? Gabby. You push your hips up. Hips up, and try and keep the thumb pointing to the ceiling, okay? So there's a lot of things there. We did a lot last week. Now we're going to look at the other side. Alright, so actually Sandy's going to do it, but I'll, I'll sort of talk you through it. So this time, I've started all the things, but Sandy has to start escaping straight away. There's no point waiting for me to do all that, and then he's oh, I better escape. It's too late, because his arm is really going to be mine. So Sandy's defending. As soon as, to be honest, you don't want them to put their arm through. So Sandy doesn't do that. Good, see, he closes the, oh, I can't get my hand through. And the next thing is Sandy pushes my leg off his head. Oh! And then he does, what's he take? How do you think he's going to get his head onto my leg? We just did it as a warm up. Shrimp. shrimp. So he's going to shrimp onto my leg all the way so his whole weight is on my leg. Now I, I'm stuck. And all Sandy does is turn into me. Oh. And then his head, which stops his arm getting hurt. And, he's, and then he has to do passing down. I'm going to show you the same thing again. So this time we're all going to practice being the bottom person. Well, not all, but that's the aim for today. First of all, don't let the person get your arm. Number two, push that leg off your head. Number three, shrimp on your leg and turn. That's it, we're going to make it three things. Three things is easy to remember. Be careful when you escape because this might come up. So yes, he's done that, he's done very well. He push the leg off the head and he spins into me. But he spins in with one arm on the head and then he could spin into what we call the triangle choke. Now in kids' rules, we're not allowed to pull down, but they are allowed to lock their legs around. And even here, it's not very nice because you can squeeze, then you have to turn. So, how are we going to do this properly without being trying? <coughs> so first of all, same thing, don't let them get the hand in, push the leg off the head, and then both arms come through. Both arms must come through. And I can't try more. You see, my legs are stuck. Guys, are you paying attention? I'm going to ask, I'm going to test you. Because you weren't watching, you three. We'll show you one more time. Okay, this is how to do the technique so that you don't get triangles. Triangle is a very nasty place to be, so you know. Triangle get that, he pushes off, and both arms come through as he turns. So I can't put my legs and trap his head. Okay, it's important I tell you this, because if you go to competition, and I didn't, you will get triangles, which is not very nice place to be.